solving a linear equation with several occurrences of the variable, variables on both sides, and fractional coefficients. We're asked to solve for v, and as you can see, we have a lot of fractions here, and it would be really nice to get rid of those fractions right off the bat so that I didn't have to do any of the calculations with those fractions. And we can do that since it is an equation has an equal sign. What I want to do first is find the lowest common denominator between all those variables. So the denominators are 2, 5, and 2. So my lowest common denominator is 10. Just as if we were going to add or subtract them, I would have to find the LCD. But now that I have the LCD, what I want to do to get rid of all those fractions is I want to take each term and I want to multiply that term by 10. Multiply by 10, multiply by 10, everything in there gets multiplied by 10. And what that does for us is that 10 that we just put in for each one of those terms, for the fractions, the denominator is going to cancel into that 10. For example, the 2 and the 10, those cancel to leave me 5. So 5 times 1v is a 5v on the left and then in the next one that 5 goes into the 10 two times so 2 times that minus 7 gives me a minus 14 then moving over to the right hand side the 2 goes into this 10 again five times so minus 5 times 3 V gives me a minus 15 V and then lastly, the 3 times the 10, there's no denominators to cancel, so that's just a plus 30. So, now we've rewritten the equation and no more fractions. So, we have v's on both sides, and we would like to fix that, to get the v's together. So, what I want to do is move one of those v's over to the other side, so we usually move the negative one. And I would do that by adding 15v to both sides. I would want to add the 15v to the right to cancel it. And when I add the 15v to the left, I'm going to line it up under its like term. That cancels on the right, leaving me with just the 30. On the left, 5v plus 15v gives me 20v. And I've still got to bring down that minus 14. So, we only have one V now, and we just need to get it by itself. So again, I want to move the terms that don't have V's over to the other side, and the minus 14, I can move it over if I add 14. If I add it to the left, I have to also add it to the right, add 14, and those are like terms. So on the left, they cancel, leaving me with just 20 V. On the right, though, the 30 plus the 14 gives me a 44. One last step, and that is we need to get rid of the 20. And since it's being multiplied now, I can undo that by dividing both sides because it's equal. Dividing on the left cancels the 20s, leaving me with just V. On the right, I have 44 divided by 20. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to simplify that fraction. So simplifying, they're both divisible by 4. So in the top, that would leave me with 11. And in the bottom, it would leave me with 5. So my answer is 11 fifths, which that is improper. So if you want to convert it into a mixed number, the 5 goes into the 11 two times with the remainder of one, so two and one-fifth or eleven-fifths, either way.